Oh, here's the game. Let's turn on the coordinates and say hello. So let's put a stone down there. Let's check the Comey. Negative Comey. Okay, so black gets to go first, and uh, and black gets five and a half points. So I got to overcome that. It's because black is a 13Q player from Belarus. Okay. Um, actually, I, I was, should have approached the other corner first. But this is something you can do. You can play this approach, and if they don't respond, you can attach in here. I don't know how this works <laughs> from this point on, but uh, let's try this. Am I supposed to Hane here and then connect up to this guy to reduce? Yeah, it looks like looks like I sacrificed that stone. And I'm connected out here and I can come in here. I don't know if that's the best result here. Let's um It's a four four stone. Well he approached high and far away. Let's let's do a high back off. And um hmm, yeah, so he's being kinda of greedy here, it looks like. A lot of high stones, or maybe just going for influence, I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, didn't respond there, but let's um, map out my corner here a little bit. And it looks like I'm conceding him this side, but he played a lot of stones over there, so it's only, only natural that he should get something here. And I should uh, double approach this stone. Uh, looks like he knows the latest Joseki. Could just go into the corner. But I think you're supposed to attach underneath like that. I'm not entirely sure. Actually, let's see how he reacts. He wedges. Okay, well, Tari there. And now what am I supposed to do? Maybe that was a mistake, huh? Maybe I should have pushed. Because he looks like he looks, it looks like he got a solid result here. I, I kind of want to connect on this side, give him the corner. <laughs> and that would not be such a great result for me. Yeah, let's, let's come out. Yeah, I am giving him that one. And I'm connecting here. And I'm going to uh, come out this way. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, try and sweep the base of these stones. Um, ah, he's going to use pressure on this stone to connect back. So I go here, push as I block, Hanes, and then he connects up. So it looks like he can rescue those stones. It looks like he can. Um, so I want to play one more move over here to protect this shape and... Uh, yeah, maybe threaten, threaten a little bit, but he's got, you know, he's connected out, so he's not in trouble with those stones. And, um, I'm not really going to fight a co there, uh, I don't think. <clears throat> it's not an important co to me. I just want to keep my stones connected here. Um, 
so I just have to worry. This is an Atari. I connect. He descends. That's another Atari. I descend. <laughs> and then what? He's got uh, two liberties in his group. One, two. And I have one, two, three. And this has several. So that's okay. If he cuts on the other side, I'll just connect. So I'm okay there. I wanted to Hanai here. He does want to play that, okay. So if I Atari here, it's uh, it's two to two, huh? Okay, maybe I didn't count that right. Turn here. He blocks. I didn't count that right. Hmm. That extra move of his uh, gave him a lot there. Okay, well let's take care since uh, I got <laughs> I have to get uh, some some uh, uh, support for what he um, some pay some payback for what he did there. Okay, he attached. Take away the uh, two space extension there. And he jumped in the middle. So, yeah, he's continuing to be pretty greedy here. Let's um, come out on this side. Let's see if I can build something on this side here. match what he is doing. So, connect solidly here. I don't want to give that corner up. And then uh, come out. Okay, we'll take away this side as well. So it looks like, uh, yeah, he can he can run some stones out in this direction, but I've got this side and this side looks pretty good. So now, just want to um, jump out from this stone here. <clears throat> get as much as I can, plus reducing reducing him in this area. It looks like he grabbed, grabbed too much over here. Okay, uh, looks like he doesn't mind me reducing him there. Maybe we can just take that stone. Now he, he connects back. Okay, let's let's connect up to. Let's connect solidly here. And uh, if he wants to drive me into his territory, I will I'll I'll gladly go there. <laughs> okay, changed his mind. Um Honey underneath over here. Maybe um, extension over here. Maybe try to cut this stone off. Aha, uh -huh, he's not having it. Atari here, he cuts. I mean, it's not an Atari. I block here and he cuts. Then I can Atari and capture. So he can't, 
He can't um, cut me there. I think he needs to descend. Question is, can I descend after he does that? Oh, he goes there. Okay, well, let's just take these stones then. And uh, yeah, he did get to seal his border. Let's see, I can seal here, I can take back here. Those look kind of small. Um, this is his biggest area. This area looks pretty solid for me over here. Should I just finish out, finish out the border here? Let's poke in this area. This is kind of, um, makes me wonder if it's alive, but I guess it is looking at it, looking at it again. So I think this is a win for me just by the amount of area I got. Even though he got this big area on, on starting from this corner, he grew this into a really monster area. But, um, but he didn't grow anything else. He got a tiny corner here. And this corner plus two sides is, plus this area in the middle is, is huge. Plus I got a big corner over here. So he's gonna try and live inside my territory. Okay, well, first we will Play solidly here like this. Block like this. So we stay connected. Take away the, uh, the eye point there. Threaten the cut. Okay, so if I block and he Atari's on this side, it's not an Atari, I'll make a shape, I guess, here. Let's try. I, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> how this works. <laughs> but I want to try and kill that invasion. It goes there. Okay, so in that case... I'll connect solidly here. And let's um, throw in here. Come on this side. So yeah, that's it. So I go here to keep him from making another eye here. If he plays at B1, I return at B2. If he, yeah, if he comes at A2, I mean, yeah, if he played B1, I would play A2. If he plays at A2, I play B1. And so I've got the, the dead shape inside there. So he doesn't have two eyes. He only has one. But now it's actually a capturing race because I don't, I don't have two eyes either. <laughs> so I have to connect. So it's one, two, three. Connect and capture. I have to stay connected like this. So it's um, one, two, three, four, five. He goes there, I take. He has to play here, here, here. I'm going to start with this. OK, 
Okay, he can't play there. And this still has two eyes, so let's uh, descend here. Yeah, so he's going to go after that one. So let's go here. So he has to take. And we'll go there. He might be winning this capturing race. Ah, that's a that's an annoying cuz I cuz I go here. Ah, now, when I go here, it connects me. I got uh, now three eyes. Maybe I win. <laughs> it's tough. I can make an extra point here and an extra point here. And uh, he still has two more moves to make here. And he's, he's an Atari now. He's dead. There we go. That's good. That's the way it should have ended. <laughs> and I'm glad I was able to win that one. I kind of messed up, I think, in the opening phases of this game. But, uh, well, we'll check that out in the postmortem. It looks like this is going to be a quick, a quick game at this point. Yeah, unless he keeps trying stuff like this. Stone has nowhere to run. I'm just cap in every direction and keep him connected. Keep keep myself connected rather. So this game, I guess it's an experiment in making sure you can kill things that shouldn't live. So let's cut him off here. If he extends, I can Atari. He extends in this direction. I mean, these stones are all connected. Yeah, so he goes for the cutting points. That's, that's logical, but... Um, there's no way that cutting stone can live. I will take it. Let's see, let's catch it in a ladder in this direction. I think it'll be more convenient. Now this is getting a little dangerous. Uh, I connect here. He extends. I need to connect over here. So I connect here, he can Atari, I connect. Well, I guess it's simpler to Atari this stone, isn't it? Yeah, I go here, he cuts over there. I'll just take these two and that gives these three stones life. And if he does this kind of thing, it's just a ladder. Just like uh, this is a ladder. Okay, that's a normal move, just a reduction. Let's play over here. Um, that is inside my stones. Let's see, I go here, he cuts, I Atari, he connects, I take. He passed, okay. I guess he was out of tricks at that point. I will pass. And um, 
So that last part of the game was kind of meaningless, but um, but uh, in the first part, I think there were some interesting things to check out. So I will and. Uh, Let's see, that should be it. There we go. 20 points. Yeah, and Black really did get uh, a huge area. Let's say thanks for the game. There we go. Um, yeah, and I'll, I'll do a, a brief uh, post-mortem of this one. I thought that was kind of interesting, and I will see you guys later. Bye. So I took a look at this game with uh, Katago. You can see the graph on the right here. So at the beginning, because there's reverse Komi, Black has the first move and five and a half points of Komi, uh, Black has a 99% chance of winning. And it keeps that all the way through. It didn't help, of course, that I played uh, some bad moves in the opening. We'll go over that. Uh, and then uh, there's a place where I take the lead, so he made some mistakes in there. And then this is that fight in the corner where actually he had another chance. Uh, Black Black gets a winning position here. And then I take it back and it's pretty much my game from there on out. So we'll take a look at a couple things uh, about the opening that I did wrong. And then we'll look at these uh, turning points in the game. So let's just step through to the first approach here. So I approached uh, with the Knight's Move approach to the second stone here. Um, I was thinking of a video that Nick Sabicki had done about approaches to enclosed corners, uh, but I um, was actually wrong about this situation. <laughs> this situation, the, the two space extension from a 4-4 stone is uh, rarely played. That's, that's not something you see. Uh, the Joseki I was thinking of starts with a 4-3 um, a point. So, uh, so black could be here at Q3 and then um, Let's see if I can let's see if I can mark this. Yeah, the black stone would be here at Q3, and the two space extension would be here at uh, Q6. So the two stones would be down, <laughs> down a notch, and um, and then this approach uh, can be used along with the attach the way I played it. But uh, in this case, because the stones are higher, it would have been simpler just to uh, go into the corner at the 3-3. Since he's got a 4-4 stone, and he put this stone too far away. Uh, yeah, his corner is just wide open, and if you want to approach it, you could just play inside there. So, so this this is not the right idea. But let's go forward and uh, talk about how it should have worked. So he ignored it, and then I do the attach. This is a reasonable follow up, and then the hane was also a reasonable move. It's when he did the satari, and I just ignored it. I should have extended once here, and the uh, AI computed this line. It thinks that. Uh, Black should connect here, and then you have a chance to extend. And then uh, when black goes like this, you can jump out here. So black has secured a, a space in the corner, um, but this group of three stones is cut off and maybe can be chased around, and, and white is building something on the, uh, on the right side. So that seems like a decent result from this approach. Uh, it's giving him a bigger corner maybe than if I had just, uh, well, if I had gone directly into the 3-3, I could have taken the corner from him. So anyway, let's continue with the game. Back to the game. We'll go on to where I approach the other corner, uh, right around here. And uh, yeah, I played this one wrong too. You're supposed to, uh, when he attaches on, hop, on top, this is with the double approach. So I approach twice, that's okay. He attaches on top. You're supposed to uh, Hane first here, then he connects, and then you push in. I think attaching underneath is still playable too, but this is uh, the more common way of playing it anyway. And then uh, you play here. Um, well, you're strengthening this stone looking to the right side, so it makes sense. You might build something on this side, but also you're indirectly threatening to... Uh, you're indirectly threatening a cut here because you push through and... Uh, and uh, black blocks, then you can cut here. So you're threatening to push on the cut when you have the support of this stone here. So uh, so black should respond to that in some way. Uh, black responds by playing here, and then white can jump out on this side. So you got two stones facing this way, two stones facing this way. I mean, a group of four stones actually on this side in some territory. Uh, and that seems like a reasonable result as well. Okay, so I played both those corner sequences badly, and Black's uh, lead has increased through this part of the game. 
and uh, and we'll go up to the uh, turning point here. You can see we he keeps the lead for a long, long time, and then we get to this critical moment here where things start to go downhill. Um, so there's a number of different moves that could be played here. What did Black play? I yeah, Black just uh, extended here. So if we go here, uh, some of the suggestions were to Hane here, keep keep more territory in the corner. And the uh, this corner wasn't entirely secure. I wasn't entirely sure about that, but the AI definitely wants to jump into the corner and thinks that keeps a winning lead for uh, Black. And the other big spot for Black was over here. Yeah, he can invade my corner. So this point here at F18 and this point down here at my corner and if I respond to that, which I probably need to, he can actually eat up a lot of my corner. I can maybe connect underneath over here, but he does get to uh, take away a lot of territory. So all of that should be uh, winning for uh, for Black. Um, so instead, though, let's see, Black went here. Black went here. Yeah, he just pushed down over here. It's just a small move. And, uh, and then I should have played somewhere bigger. There's two big points for me. One is this S16 point, and the other is this uh, E18 point uh, turning. Those are like the two biggest points. But even so, because Black has made some slow moves, I'm not, I'm not making the strongest moves here, but I'm getting back into the game gradually. And in fact, um, well, you can see it's uh, the evaluation is shifting back and forth. That's because uh, the AI thinks that the, the most important points here up here at E18, F18, those moves, and down here around S16 and or S6 and uh, S5. So those are like the critical areas in the game, and we're both sort of ignoring it and playing elsewhere. Um, but uh, it's already you know the shift, the balance has shifted after that slow move, and I'm I'm in the game, and um, right here is where it suddenly jumps to where I am winning or have a, a winning edge for the first time. So right here, uh, black should play somewhere else. The uh, Yeah, there's another chance maybe. Um, well, he has other chances in this corner, but this is a, a good opportunity to jump into the corner here and then come back and play this move at F18. And that would uh, that would keep keep it uh, in, uh, in black's favor there. But instead, uh, he just connected here and it uh, changes to my favor now. Um, now, once again, I don't always play the best moves. Let's see. Oh, yeah, well, this is the second point where he could have uh, jumped in here. This is kind of interesting. This, uh, after the movie played, where he um, he went here, then I've suddenly jumped up to like a 90% uh, win rate. So <laughs> another slow move from Black. But uh, this jump in here is pretty interesting. I followed it for a ways. It seems like at first Black tries to live there, but then it just turns into this giant co. <laughs> so I don't think there's actually enough room to live there underneath my stones. But uh, but if he can get a co and maybe gain some profit elsewhere, seems like that turns it into a game. Anyway, he didn't play that way. He extended up. So now, for the moment, I have a uh, a 90% chance of winning or up. And uh, but I give it up when he dives into the corner over here. Yeah, he tried to invade my corner. This is the last big fight of the game, and the last critical fight of the game, I guess I should say. And uh, here, it's um, it's something that I could have handled better. If I just Hane on this side, I'll give it the, the variation I should have played. Um, and he gets this point. I mean, I took the B2 point, but even if he gets that, I can play here at uh, b4, and he's still not alive there. Uh, he can try some various tricks and cuts, but there's no way that he can make uh, actually two eyes. It looks like he's got some space in here, but uh, when, he, when he seals that off, I throw a stone in here. So this is just one eye, and the area at c2 there, that's a false eye. So that was a key point. And, um, Another point is that he really needed to play at uh, b3 because if I get to descend to b3, it turns that uh, c2 spot into a false eye from this direction. So he just doesn't have time to make two eyes there. So I didn't have to really uh, throw in the way I did. And then it gets complicated. It kind of shifts back and forth because uh, he had winning chances and I had winning chances. But it got increasingly complicated and I don't really understand all the variations. But 
by around here and he's actually winning at this point and then uh, but but it's complicated the way he has to play to win and then he just played in kind of a simple fashion and I I had enough liberties to surround his group and kill it and that was the uh, end of the game from the point of view of the uh, AI here it's all 90% uh, win rate but uh, anyway it's pretty interesting so if we can summarize what happened in this corner here um, that throw in should not have worked uh, that the invasion at the 3-3 it's I'm surrounding on both sides and he just doesn't have enough room to live there um, but I didn't play it right and then uh, yeah, right here is a critical moment where I just need to keep him surrounded and just take away his eyes when they start to threaten by, by playing at b4 or at uh, d d1 or c1. And I can keep him from making two eyes and living there. Uh, and so that's the way I should have played it. And when I played it wrong, then he had winning chances in that section. Uh, but eventually he made a mistake too. And, uh, and I got back my winning advantage. Anyway, fun game. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.